has set up an EVD external drainage system. You need the EVD drainage system set up, arterial line kit. On the table, I already have the EVD drainage set up. I'm gonna please use gloves, sterile gloves, and have your sterile towel on the table. But for the purpose of demonstration, I am not wearing gloves, but in real life, please wear gloves. For the art line kit, the only piece you need is a transducer. You can get rid of all the other pieces. So I have my transducer over here. I have my normal saline flushes. You need two, has to be preserved with three. Please know that when you open the normal saline flush, it is not sterile packaging. And so you can lay it to the part or someone can assist you opening it up and uh, make sure you use aseptic technique. We are gonna prime our EVD drainage by, I'm gonna open up uh, connecting the transducer to where the, we're gonna be level to our EVD to measure where the ICP is. So remove the all, please remember the caps that is already come with the packaging has a, a it's not closed end caps. We're gonna change it to a closed end cap, which is here and here. Closer to the patient is already a red cap and that is closed. We are gonna prime it. So I'm starting it from the transducer piece. So by closing, as you see here, so I'll open it up. Closed. I'm gonna go ahead and close the end cap because I don't want to use and switch it to this piece and close off to the transducer. I'm gonna open it towards the patient, the catheter going towards the patient and prime every piece of the catheter so you can see it too. As you see, there are two clamps Make sure those are all open. Oh, sorry, three, excuse me. And it's actually open this piece as well. So our saline flush is gonna come out there. Okay. And close the red cap close off and now you don't need to open that green hoop and now we have primed this piece as well now I can clamp so I don't lose my prime and clamp it closer here I'm gonna close off the three-way stopcock towards the patient now I'm gonna prime the piece towards the barrette so just watch trickling yeah, into the bread. And we can actually empty this piece and close it back off again. So this is already connected, uh, the drainage system. And this is the only piece when the bag is full, you can actually, um, close take it off we have just extra bags available that all you need is make sure first of all this is closed towards the drainage bag and you take this piece off and using again aseptic technique screw it off have your new bag and this uh, you can close it off here so you don't have mess going on and this is your used one and the new one you can using, you know, use your, okay, close it off, connect it back here. So this piece, you know, your should be off if we're measuring every hour how much the drain a patient is draining. And once the patient the EVD drainage is placed, you wanna 
find out a couple of things from the neurosurgeon. One, we wanna make sure what is the drainage level that we want our patient to. So most of the time is gonna be 10, but and that is the measure you are. So these two areas. And, and I think Fatma, yeah. you said, right, we're not using centimeters of water anymore. We're using millimeters of mercury Correct. across the board. Yes. Okay. Thank you, actually, for the reminder. So your level, lever actually has both of them, your millimeters in mercury and centimeters water. All of our measurement on the monitor in Meditech documentation goes over millimeters of mercury. So our order set also goes by millimeters of mercury. Your normal ICP is five to 15. So when we have in C increased ICP or blood or uh, more CSF, we want to make sure you know we are draining any excess. Uh, it could be 15 or it could we could start with 10. So anything over 10, we're going to have a drainage and we're going to monitor it on an hourly basis and empty it from the bread into the bag. So the se initial setup most of the time will be 10. But again, confirm with the neurosurgeon. And once so this is ready to go to be connected for the patient, obviously. Uh, remove this and close it all with closed end caps. So the way this is set up right now is uh, for the patient to be drained. So this three-way stopcock is closed off towards the transducer, but it is open from for the patient, the drainage all the way to the bread. If we're going to measure ICP, then uh, let me show it on the pole, uh, a couple of steps, how we're gonna go by that. Can we stop a little quick, so I'm gonna.